Donald Trump delivered for the American people. Rising wages, rising take-home pay, an economy that worked for normal Americans, a secure southern border, a lot of things, frankly, that I didn't think he'd be able to deliver on. The bold forward plan that Kamala Harris put uh, out there is one is talking about this housing issue and then making sure tax cuts go to the middle class. That, of course, Tim Walz, J.D. Vance discussing part of their economic positions during the vice presidential debate last evening. The economy, we've been talking about this over and over again, issue number one, especially in the swing states. One of those key states, Nevada. And as part of our continuing swing state spotlight series tonight, we focus on the silver state, a campaign proposal that is gaining popularity there, an idea first floated by former President Trump. No taxes on tips. Joining us live from Las Vegas is our next star colleague, KLAS reporter John Langler, host of the Politics Show Now. Uh, Politics Now show, rather. John, thanks for being with us here on the Hill. Appreciate it. So no taxes on tips. Donald Trump's talking about it. Kamala Harris said, you know what, that's a good idea. How's this viewed out there in Nevada? Is this pocket aces running an inside straight? What, what is it out there? You know, Blake, you can use any sort of casino uh, metaphor you like. I'm sure all <laughs> will apply. Certainly, people will be supportive of the idea of making money and not having it taxed. And because so many of the workers here in Las Vegas and in Southern Nevada work in the resorts, work in the casinos, tips are a big portion of their take-home pay. So the idea of it not being taxed got pretty much across the board, pretty rave reviews from people that we spoke with. But what is interesting, though, is that, you know, you mentioned that uh, former President Trump brought this up in June. The Culinary Union, one of the biggest power brokers in southern Nevada, in Las Vegas, 60,000 members strong, they dismissed it initially. They've kind of changed their tune, but initially they thought it was, it was kind of a stunt. We actually went to a roundtable and heard some of their thoughts. That means nothing. And the people who are espousing that right now, to me, mean nothing unless they put a plan and say, okay, this is how it's going to work. And what about, what about the, the other states and all that? You need to have something more than just say, okay, we're going to have no tax on tip. That means it is a slogan. So that was right after former President Trump's speech here back in uh, earlier in the summer. The skepticism didn't last long. Democrats soon jumped on board. Both Democratic senators of, uh, of Nevada, the congressional delegation, we've heard from Vice President Kamala Harris, who said she supports it as well. And then uh, earlier this month, Nevada Congressman Stephen Horsford proposed his own uh, proposal, the TIPS Act, which is a different hmm. version of it. Let's see. Uh, we can hear him talk about, we've heard him talk about this. It's his method of no tips. No taxes on tips. We'll have to see if it if it really goes anywhere, though. Hey, 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 John, real quick. Uh, obviously, economy issue number one within the economy. No taxes on tips. Where does that fall? Well, it, it, it falls pretty high in southern Nevada. I think we've done some polling uh, through the Hill, of course, 8 News Now. Um, we've looked at what people think about their the biggest issue in southern Nevada, in, in all of Nevada. And it's the economy. And the economy isn't just taxes on tips. It's housing prices, right. cost of groceries. Those yep. are nationwide issues, of course. Taxes on tips is up there. It's not the mm. main issue, though. Interesting. John Langler, KLAS-TV out there in Nevada. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Great. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.